Okay, so um, we're continuing on with lesson 19, uh, functions. This uses the same code that you used in the lesson before. So several of the um, activities and puzzles here, if you don't complete the earlier stages, then when you get to these later stages, they're not going to make sense. They're not going to work. Uh, so you'll often want to use the same code at many places in your program. Once you've created a function, you can call it as many times as you like. So this code creates a sprite that moves across the screen once. How do you make it go back across the screen? Um, so the function is already called once at the beginning of your program. Uh, read the condition of the if statement inside the draw loop. Why do you think it's there? And then use this if statement and the function written for you to make the sprite move across the screen multiple times. So if we look at this, we can see um, flyer equals create sprite so we created a sprite and then uh, we set the animation of the flyer to be the flyer uh, guy here in our animation tab our nice little um, flyer guy here um, so then what happened is we're going to uh, draw the background of the trees which is what we did last time uh, and then uh, we have this uh, set flyer um, function that's called so we set him at the beginning of this draw loop um, and so that pretty much puts him in the position at the um, edge of the screen sets his velocity and then he'll be able to start going across the screen so if we run this you can see that set flyer is done before the draw loop even starts so it sets the flyer and he starts moving here uh, now if flyer um, x is less than negative 50 so that means that the flyer has gotten all the way to the end of the screen, um, is past a zero, is made it to negative 50. Then we're going to do something. Um, so if we want the flyer to come back over to the side, we want to make sure that he's completely off the screen before he loops back over here. Now, for purposes of this demonstration, negative one is really slow, and we're waiting a long time to be able to test to see if our code works correctly. So I'm going to change this to negative five instead so that it's going to be able to move a little bit quicker. You can see now the flyer has disappeared. However, since I didn't put anything inside of this conditional statement, nothing is actually going to happen. Uh, but what you want to be able to do is have that when the flyer disappears off the edge of the screen, you want to call that function once again. Uh, and you only want to call it once he is um, off the screen. So when we set flyer, what's going to happen now is as he gets um, off the screen, he's going to reappear back on the other side of the screen. Uh, so he goes over there and he comes back. And it's really uh, seamless. Uh, because of the position in which he is set to and when he goes off the screen as soon as he disappears he reappears back on the other side so it's just this continuous loop that um, you're seeing going from one side to the other so in this case you can be able to call your functions multiple times during the draw loop uh, during the course of your program uh, to be able to execute the same uh, lines of code so then we uh, go ahead and Click finish with this activity and we have mastered uh, puzzle number seven.